Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, where I share the latest and most interesting news about artificial intelligence. In this video, I will tell you about the top 5 AI news stories of this week. Let's get started. The first news story is about ChatGPT, a powerful natural language processing tool developed by OpenAI. ChatGPT uses deep learning to understand and respond to natural language inputs, making it a valuable tool for businesses and organizations looking to improve their operations and productivity. ChatGPT has become a viral hit on social media, as users have been testing its capabilities and creativity. For example, some users have asked ChatGPT to write summaries, poems, stories, jokes, and even code. ChatGPT has also been used to generate original images from text descriptions using another OpenAI algorithm called Dolly. The second news story is about Copilot, a code-generating AI platform created by GitHub and OpenAI. Copilot is designed to help developers write better code faster by suggesting lines or entire functions based on the context of the code. However, Copilot has also been facing some legal challenges as some developers have accused it of infringing their intellectual property rights. A group of developers has filed a lawsuit against GitHub and OpenAI, claiming that Copilot has copied and reproduced their code without their permission. The lawsuit also raises ethical and security concerns about the use of Copilot, as it may introduce bugs, vulnerabilities, or malicious code into the software. The third news story is about the turmoil at X and Meta, two of the biggest social media companies in the world. Both companies have been undergoing major changes in their leadership and vision, which may have implications for their AI strategies. X's CEO Jack Dorsey announced his resignation this week, after leading the company for more than a decade. Dorsey has been a vocal advocate for ethical and responsible AI, and has supported initiatives such as the AI Ethics Board and the Responsible Machine Learning Initiative. His successor, Parag Agrawal, is an AI expert who has been the Chief Technology Officer of X since 2017. Agrawal has been responsible for developing and deploying AI systems across X's products and services, such as content moderation, recommendation, and personalization. Agrawal has also expressed his views on AI ethics, saying that, Our role is not to be bound by the First Amendment, but our role is to serve a healthy public conversation. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, has also been facing some challenges and controversies, as it tries to rebrand itself as a metaverse company. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg has announced his ambitious plan to create a virtual reality platform that will connect billions of people and enable new forms of social interaction, entertainment, and commerce. However, Meta's metaverse vision has also been criticized by some experts and regulators, who have raised issues such as privacy, security, competition, and human rights. Meta's AI research division, which is one of the leading AI labs in the world, has also been affected by the company's changes. Several prominent AI researchers have left Meta in recent months, citing reasons such as ethical concerns, lack of transparency, and misalignment of values. The fourth news story is about Google's acquisition of DeepMind Health, a division of the UK-based AI company DeepMind. DeepMind Health is known for developing AI applications for healthcare, such as Streams, an app that helps clinicians monitor patients and detect signs of deterioration, and AlphaFold, an AI system that predicts the structure of proteins and enables new discoveries in biology and medicine. Google has announced that it will integrate DeepMind Health into its Google Health division, which is also focused on using AI to improve health outcomes and experiences. Google has said that it will continue to support and collaborate with DeepMind Health's partners, such as the NHS, and that it will uphold the highest standards of privacy and security for the data and insights generated by the AI systems. The fifth and final news story is about a new AI technique that can create brain scans from speech recordings. The technique, developed by researchers from the University of Cambridge and Imperial College London, uses a deep neural network to analyze the speech signals and map them to the brain activity patterns that produce them. The technique can generate high-resolution images of the brain regions that are involved in speech production and comprehension, such as the motor cortex, the auditory cortex, and the language areas. The technique can also reveal how the brain activity changes over time, 
as the speaker or listener engages in different linguistic tasks, such as naming objects, answering questions, or following instructions. The technique can be used to study the neural basis of language, as well as to diagnose and treat various speech and language disorders, such as aphasia, dyslexia, and stuttering. That's all for this week's top AI news. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more AI news and insights. Thank you for watching and see you next time.